Sarah Spears has come out with another hot take regarding the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul match. And let me tell you, this one's a real shocker. Mike Tyson, the baddest man on the planet, the living legend himself, is returning to the ring at age 57 to face off against none other than YouTuber turned boxer Jake Paul in a fight that absolutely no one saw coming. This matchup has sent shockwaves through the boxing community and sparked heated debates, so you know we had to break it down for y'all. But first, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our in-depth boxing analysis. All right, let's dive in. Netflix just dropped the bomb that Iron Mike and the Problem Child will be squaring off this June in what's shaping up to be one of the most talked about fights in recent memory. Now on paper, this seems like a total mismatch. A prime 27-year-old social media star with a budding boxing career against a man 30 years his senior who hasn't fought professionally in almost two decades. Easy win for Jake, right? Not so fast. In an interview with VLADTV, Arkansas Spears stated, Imma go with Tyson, you go with Tyson, but I'm going to be nervous. Tyson or Jake Paul? I'm gonna go, go with Tyson. You can go with Tyson? But I'm gonna be nervous. I want to see Jake Paul get his ass whooped too. I want to see Jake Paul get his ass whooped too. But here's the thing. When Jake Paul first started, he was a little sloppy. I put up a poll on Twitter to see what the public thinks, and a whopping 75% of you are picking Mike to come out on top. And honestly, I can't say I blame you. This is freaking Mike Tyson we're talking about here, the youngest heavyweight champ in history, with 44 KOs on his resume. Even at 57, the dude is still built like a tank and looks scary fast on the heavy bag. Did you all see those training videos he posted? I'm getting chills just thinking about it. But here's the thing, and I hate to even suggest this, what if Father Time finally catches up to Iron Mike on fight night? I mean, the man is pushing 60. No matter how good he looks in training, there's gotta be some question marks around his stamina and ability to go the distance. Meanwhile, Jake Paul, love him or hate him, has actually been putting in the work to improve as a fighter. He's six, won as a pro, with his only loss coming against Tommy Fury, a legitimate boxer. You can't just write him off as a YouTuber anymore. Now I'm not saying Jake is on Mike's level in his prime, not even close. We're talking about arguably the most feared heavyweight of all time at his absolute apex. Pre-prison Mike Tyson, trained by Kevin Rooney, fueled by raw aggression and unmatched power, was a force of nature unlike anything we've seen before or since. In his prime years with the guidance of Cus D'Amato and Jimmy Jacobs, Tyson was unstoppable. He'd come out of the corner like a wild animal, overwhelming his opponents with relentless offense and crushing power in both hands. Forget about seeing the second round, Iron Mike laid waste to the heavyweight division, racking up first round KOs like they were going out of style. 14 straight wins inside three minutes. Think about that for a second. These weren't bums he was beating either. We're talking elite fighters, gold medalists, undefeated prospects, didn't matter. If Mike hit you flush back then, it was lights out. So I totally understand why people scoff at the idea of a YouTuber having any chance against the GOAT, I get it. But the thing is, that unstoppable version of Mike hasn't existed for a long time. After he went to prison in the early 90s, he was never quite the same. He was still a great fighter, don't get me wrong, but the focus, the discipline, the fire just wasn't there like before. He's openly admitted that he was deep into drugs and alcohol, chasing women, just going through the motions for a paycheck and not really invested in boxing like he used to be. And even still, with all that working against him, Mike retired with a record of 56, 5. The only fights he lost were to all-time greats like Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis, or he lost on cuts or injuries. Never knocked out cold. So even a diminished Tyson was a handful for anyone. But the question is, which Mike Tyson will we see against Jake Paul? In his last exhibition fight against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, Mike definitely looked his age. He was noticeably slower, breathing heavily, not able to maintain the crazy pace he used to. He still had flashes of brilliance and did enough to get the win, but it wasn't vintage Iron Mike by any stretch. And therein lies the intrigue in this fight. Jake Paul has youth, stamina, and size on his side, He's naturally bigger than Mike at this point, and he'll have no problem letting his hands go for eight rounds. If he can weather the early storm and drag Mike into the later rounds, it could get very interesting. I'm not ready to predict a Jake Paul victory or anything crazy like that, 
but I also don't think it's the squash match that some people are making it out to be. Tyson will always have a puncher's chance because of his incredible power and experience, but if his gas tank isn't there, Jake will live in this fight. Personally, gun to my head, I'm rolling with Iron Mike for the nostalgia alone. He's my guy, he's my era, and I refuse to even picture a world where a Disney Channel kid beats up my childhood hero. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous. Father Time is undefeated, and Mike is giving up a lot of years in there. If this was a prime Tyson, I'd bet my house on him icing Jake within three rounds. But at 57, with an already spotty gas tank, sigh. I'm still ride or die, but I'm just saying, don't be shocked if this is more competitive than you think. Jake Paul has definitely put the work in and improved enough to at least give Mike some problems, especially late. Do I think he'll actually win? I'm going to say no. Even with the layoff and the age, Tyson is simply on another level in terms of skill, technique and punching power. He's seen and done it all in the ring, and I believe he'll be able to shore up his stamina issues enough to get the job done, probably by mid-round KO. But I tell you one thing, if by some miracle Jake pulls this off, it'll be the end of Mike Tyson as we know him. A loss here effectively erases all the goodwill he's built up over the last 25 years and cements him as a washed-up novelty act. Forget the hangover cameos and public redemption, Jake Paul will forever be known as the kid who sent Mike out to pasture. What a world that would be. In the end, I think order will be restored, and Tyson will get his hand raised. He's too smart, too skilled and still too powerful, even at his advanced age to let a relative novice beat him. But it's going to be one hell of a ride and the whole world will be watching. Tyson versus Paul. Old school versus new school. Man versus meme. I can't freaking wait. That's all we had in store for today's news update. Don't forget to like this video, and if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss out on any news updates from our channel. Till then, stay tuned.